And to this day, if you ask me what my identity is, I'm an Australian farmer. I've always been excited by things more than just the conventional aspects of pearl farming. And doing that in collaboration with Indonesia creates a win-win scenario. And I'm not aware of a better example between our two nations. What is exceptional about the Atlas investment is that these precious materials are all sold into the luxury industry. The turning point in the business probably was the decision to move from Atlas South Sea Pearl to Atlas Pearls and Perfumes. That decision really gives this company a point of difference. It's gone from a pure pearling entity to encompassing natural extracts from plants through essential oils of Tasmania, creating cosmetics and perfumes. And very importantly, taking what have traditionally been byproducts from the pearl oyster the shell of the oyster, the tissues of the oysters, and looking at how they can go into value-adding streams. This will become an increasingly important part of our revenue mix. We've got the market moving in our favour. It's just a matter of presenting to the world the output of our efforts over the last three to four years. Atlas carved its own niche over the years and is probably the most respected company producing pearls and it took years to reach that position. We produce a very nice pearl and we're constantly reminded of that by our customers, uh, particularly in Japan. Atlas is synonymous with a very nice colour and a very good luster and that's largely down to the care that's taken during that husbandry process. Obviously, you get a huge amount of satisfaction when you get a good price. It's a strong asset base which can grow. I was very impressed with the farm. It was the first time I'd been to a pearl farm, believe it or not, coming from Western Australia. And there was a real passion. I looked at the local community. There was an awareness of what Atlas was doing and a recognition that they were a significant contributor to the regions. It's a group of people with the same focus, the same goal. That's what makes a company successful. The pearl is alive. It's a biocrystal. This is the most refined and sensitive animal in the ocean. Pearling is based on the relationship between the humans and the nature. The bond has to be very strong. It is based on, on respect. If it's only based on vanity, it will fail. If we don't work at one with nature and environment, then we don't have an industry. It's ensuring that everything is balanced and as aligned with the natural conditions as it can be. And the heart and soul is not only the people, but it's our IP and our crops, our genetics, research and development we've put into this business over 20 or 30 years. We joined that into a very comprehensive research program involving James Cook University. They were able to come into this with the most recent cutting edge genetic technology and apply that to our selective breeding program. The most rewarding aspect for me has got to be the people. More than 80% of the staff are drawn directly from the local community. It's been very much a part of the company philosophy, trying to find talented individuals, no matter what the education level is, and bring them through a system so that they become well-trained, completely understanding of the process, and develop into good leaders. Banyak saya belajar tergabung di satu perusahaan dengan sistem manajemen yang baik. Saya bangga. Saya bangga punya pekerjaan. You can't just go into an environment like Indonesia and treat it as a pit to carve money from. 
I'm very proud of the fact that when I go into one of our operations, I see people there doing meaningful work, being properly remunerated for that, and that benefit flowing back into the community. Their children will benefit with education. And I think that the company is making an absolutely positive contribution to the development of that country. A key plank to the success of the company has been the community. The first meeting you had when you went to see the village elders and sit down in their village, they invited you in for tea and you, you sat down and started absorbing them as a, the personalities, as the mentors of that, that beautiful place. Unless you engage and accept the notion of a global community, I don't think you have a place in the world as it exists now. We're working on a very tight concept to merge uh, perfume, cosmetics and pearl jewellery, all in one story. Atlas has also been able to extract key active ingredients and value add the pearl powder by a factor of 40. It's providing unique products, novel products and an socio and ecological harmony to the environment. For me, it was a, a good experience. So to uh, to bring some uh, new um, brief to the perfumery, which was different from the mainstream perfumery. There is a, a marriage between the pearl and the skin, and a marriage between perfume and the skin. The new research will look at things like the extracted pearl proteins and the micronized pearl powders, which have a legacy of thousands of years of being beneficial to skin and beneficial to health and feeding that directly back into the farming system, into the oysters. And this is a beautiful thing because it becomes this positive feedback loop. The pearl has so many properties and powerful ingredients within it to actually help your skin. You'll be able to ingest it in capsules. It's a Cleopatra story. I think it's very exciting that the pearls are starting in the hands of these amazing women. There's something very unique about that, and I think that if you stop and think about it for a second, it just makes that pearl so much more special. In Australia, I applied to be a pearl diver. They said it's not a job for women, but if you come to Atlas, the women are involved the whole way. Ya boleh dibilang nasib perusahaan itu ada di tangan kami, teknisi operasi. We are proud of where we are. Um, we're proud of the people who make the products. Being a woman in this industry and especially living in Indonesia, I'm a lot more open-minded, more confident. The men in the industry, they don't really understand the final buyer. Every pearl is different. Pearls are unique. This is for an individual woman. She wants to stand out. She wants to be noticed. Saya merasa bangga sekali karena perempuan-perempuan di seluruh dunia itu merasakan dan menikmati apa yang tangan saya buat. Atlas has found its voice, and they have found an uncontested space. And the uncontested space is very simple: being who you are. This is a massive formula for success: absolute integrity, absolute truth. Atlas have a phenomenal opportunity that most of the big brands in the world will be looking back five years from now saying, why didn't I think of that? We are on the verge of creating a truly international prestige brand, a brand that can stand in the corridors of Paris and New York. I've been in luxury all my life and this company now represents to me the most exciting moment I've ever had. <laughs>